Hello everyone, welcome back to another um, another career episode. We're uh, in for race 3 of the season, 3 out of 8, which is in Renvoort. One of my favorite, favorite maps. Especially with the AI, because they are very consistent here and it's, it's really fun to race them. Some difficult spots to overtake, but you know, you, we can handle it, we can handle it. So yeah, this, is, this series is going very well actually. Um, I got some positive f feedback, so that, that's always good and fun to, to get from, from you guys. So uh, yeah, let's get into this qualifying lap. You see, you need to cut every corner very well. Um, you need to touch the sand to get a really fast time. The yeah, eye does so as well, so that's, that's, that's interesting. Um, you really need to hit every apex here, because uh, else you're gonna lose a lot of time. You need to cut in as well. and. Yeah, gain some time where you can. So, uh, this race is uh, needs to be a good one. Because we are tied for a first with three people, as you'll see in a second. And um, we'll bring up the scoreboard. We are tied with three people, Kenji, Leah and me. We are the three people for first place now and then Victor is following up with only four points behind so that's uh, it's very close. So one race can really make a difference here. So we need to get a good run here. We already got P1 in this so we get an extra point so technically we're in first place now. Uh, but I won't update the scoreboard yet um, until after the race. Um, so yeah, let's get uh, let's get into this, this race, shall we? So yeah, Renvoort, we are doing uh, 24 laps, so the pit stop strategy will vary, I think, just like every race because the AI sometimes doesn't know what is best and what is worse, so I'm just gonna go and calculate, calculate quote unquote, um, how much I, I use every lap and then we'll see how we pit stop and uh, what our strategy will be like. And we could do a lot of laps actually with uh, with this uh, with 75% uh, fuel and uh, tire wear. So we'll see how far we can get and what our strategy will be like. So this first lap was very crucial because we need to get an advantage as soon as possible, get away from from the pack while they are fighting over places and stuff, which they would normally do. But yeah, um, it's the AI, so they, they have a little bit of difficulty with that, overtaking each other. Um, so the top three currently is me, Gina and Leah, so we are all kind of close to each other in the standings, except for Sarah, I think. Uh, Gina is also a little more in the back, if I'm right. But uh, as I said before, every every race can, can make a big difference, and 25 points is a lot to gain or lose in a race. Oh yeah, we're just trying to get these laps in cons as consistent as possible and uh, I must say this race was not very entertaining wise because uh, there didn't happen much because I love this track and I played it a lot and I'm pretty consistent at it so it would be a shame to lose points here if I, if I, can, if I can get an advantage here. Um, so here I'm getting my fastest lap yet, uh, 28.4, which is decent. Or uh, with this track combination and track car combination. So you see in the minimap we are kind of getting away from the pack now. Me and Gina are kind of close still, but we, we tend to get away from the rest. So we, we the top three will probably stay kind of the same. I think I reckon this race because uh, unless we make a huge mistake, nothing's gonna really happen. So, like here going wide a little bit, it, it cuts off some time, I mean, it, uh, it cuts off some time between me and Gina, so she gets closer, but I can get away as, as, as I want, as I please, so, because I know the, the AI will follow a certain trajectory. We are now 6 laps in, we have 49 fuel left, 64 tire wear. So we're looking kinda good. The pit stop strategy will be like around lap 
11 or 12, I think. Um, if I'm right. So we'll see what happens then if Gina undercuts us, overcuts us. Um, yeah. So I want to take this time with uh, consistent lapping to talk about uh, next season because I will do a second season, maybe even a third season, don't know that yet. But I will do a second season with the, the other GP car, the, the, the 80s GP car. Which is a little bit faster, a little bit more difficult to, to control. But yeah, that's, that's, that's something I was thinking of, I'm currently in the making, let's say. Um, but I'm gonna try and tweak some stuff like because like uh, uh, the different uh, the different racers we can do uh, we can get. So I'm trying I'm gonna try to get the same racers every race. That will not be easy. We will trial and error. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm planning to and maybe tweak the point system a little bit because it might be a little bit overpowered. But uh, I don't know. We'll see about that. Um, now we see the AI actually coming in for a pit stop, so uh, they're gonna go for an undercut, all of them, so I'm like, you know, why would they do that? I, I still got plenty of fuel left, my tire wear is not that, that far off. So uh, I was pretty curious during the race if they, this would actually work, because the tire wear was not that explicit, ex, ex, I don't know how, it, how, to, how you say it in English, um, not that harsh. So we're now in for a pit stop at lap 10, so sooner than I expected. Um, but you see on the minimap they're getting very close. So there's a big probability they will overtake me, so now, yeah, look at that. So Leah actually overtook Gina in this lap, or in the pits, and um, now I have to get back to Leah. Leah is actually tied with me in third, so, or was tied with me in third after the before the, the qualification lap. So, yeah, we need to overtake her because giving her 5 points extra than me is not a, a good thing. We can take the inner line and maybe get a move done, but she gets the better line on the inside of the first turn and gets me back. But that's a little bit unfortunate. And I bump her, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna give it. That, that's, that's not a fair overtake. So I give the position back. As I she goes wide again, and they're this side by side now, so it's... it's this is very scary. Tina actually overtakes Leah as well because she's going wide all the time and now we're in the same positions as before. Very close to each other though because their undercut actually worked. So we're now in this position. We got our first place back. So now we realize like yeah um, my pit stop strategy is not gonna work again. I'm gonna get overtaken again and undercut again. So. Maybe I can just work it out like I did now, but maybe not, so during the race I was thinking about this. But for now, let's just focus on getting uh, good laps, like I just did, a 28.2. It's uh, pretty fast, so uh, yeah. We'll just speed this up a little bit or something. Uh, maybe not, I'll just let it play like it is. Yeah, I, I, I like it to watch it like this. Um, I sped it up before, I didn't yeah, get any comments of it, but... Uh, neither did I before I sped it up, so... I think you guys like it, you can see how I, how I drive against these AIs. As I go a little bit wide here, but... I make it worthwhile, getting a good exit. I'm being a lawnmower again, just like last time, but let's say it's fine, it's fine. Just getting in these consistent laps, turning in on the right time, hitting the apex. So now we're at lap 15, um, the same top 3 as, as in the beginning of the race, as I go very wide here and lose a lot of time. We saw that on the minimap, Gina was just Getting closer very, very fast. But look at that, they're getting a pit stop again. So Gina and Leah are actually pitting after 8 laps or so I think, or 7 maybe, or 8 and then 7 and then... Now I know they're gonna pit again, right? 
they 100% have to pit stop again. So maybe I can take advantage of that. I can be like, okay, if I do this correctly, I pit stop one more time and I'm good. Because I did now 16 laps with one stop. And I will do one more probably and then I'm going to pit. So I'm, I'm not just overcutting them, I'm just like... I don't know. <laughs> doing a double overcut or something? I don't know how, how you're supposed to call it. But yeah, lap 17, then I do 7 more laps and then we be good. I think our strategy is, is a little bit better because we are driving less on really worn tires. Mm. In the AI are, especially near the end of the race because after 8-9 laps you have almost no tires and fuel left so as expected Gina again in front of me I gotta overtake her again I'm always trying to keep it clean it, if something happens and the AI just does really weird stuff I'm just gonna go that's how I always race the AI because it's still the AI it's not a per person and it's not a, it's just AI mistakes at that point what I, what I love the AI to do is like try to get a different line to overtake you and stuff. That would be really awesome. So now we're in the back of Gina. Um, pushing through, I'm touching her actually. <laughs> Which is very weird because I, I was touching that, that tube or something. So the AI goes a little bit wide here all the time so I can take the outer line here. And gain a little bit more speed but it doesn't really work out so I have to get the inside line here but uh, yeah touch we touch again and, and I have to let it go but you see how fast I'm, I'm back at the tail so the AI struggles here to keep to keep their momentum going especially with that turn tree but, uh, that's insane so I try to get the outer line again cutting through the inside and this time it, it works out, so now I can get a better braking point, but I kind of fail. And uh, yeah, Gina gets the better line again. So uh, we're up for a challenge here with the four more laps, including this one. Getting the inside and Gina just almost spins out. And going a little bit wide, but it costs her five points probably. So, so that's a pretty dumb mistake to make there, Gina. Next time don't do that. So we're now 3 laps away from the finish. Or the fuel left, 70 tire wear, so we are in a good position. Um, if we don't crash. So now I was like, yeah, I have to let her go because she has more pace now. And yeah, safe entry and stuff like F1. So I try to get it as realistic as possible, but I get inside line again and kind of push her wide, but you had to give away the position there. So uh, yeah, the AI goes very wide here very often, so it's, it's easy overtaking them. Um, so now, one and a half more laps to go. 30 tire wear, 60, uh, 60 tire wear, 30 fuel left. So. We're in a very good spot here, if I don't crash into the barrier again. So, uh, behind us, not really much edge action going on, actually, because you, the whole race has been just a chain of AIs, and the front a little bit faster than the back, so you see in the minimap, three more in the back, like the slowest people. Um, but the front is, like, really spread out. Unless I make a mistake, they won't catch up. So that's maybe something for the devs again to work on. As we finish the race in P1, with very good results. Um, yeah, so we we're probably gonna be first place after this. Because we have the fastest lap as well, so I get not 25 or 26 points, but 27 points. Which is very good. So we're first, Gina second, Leah third, uh, Sarah fourth, and where is Victor? Victor is all the way up nine, so who was actually second place, theoretically, he just yeah failed his mission to get on the podium this time. So here we are, our uh, 
first first P1 actually of the of the season. So we're very happy with this. So after this race we we are leading the pack with 75 57 points. Um Lee is second and Kenji is third. So uh Kenji well done. You got no points this race. <laughs> so so did Victor. Victor only yeah, tailing in the back the back in the middle field um, kind of stayed together with low points so one victory or something can can really shake that shake, shake that back line up um, yeah next race is uh, Magdalena the full circuit so uh, that's actually not my best circuit but we'll see uh, what we can get there I will take any points from now on um, as long as Leah doesn't get P1 because uh, that would be insane. So yeah, uh, this was this race. Uh, thanks you guys for watching. And if you made it to the end, make sure to subscribe because it really means a lot to me. And if you watch some Twitch, sometimes I'll be streaming. Sometimes, sometimes not. You need to follow me, you know. Right? Thank you guys and see you later. Bye.